there is a national debate raging right now surrounding the question of whether or not we should stop disease-modifying therapy in older adults with multiple sclerosis. To learn my opinions and where I weigh in on this debate, tune in, because I'm going to share that with you right now. Howdy. Learn about MS with me, Aaron Voster. I started this channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's topic is actually a hot topic in the United States right now, surrounding if, in fact, we could ever stop disease-modifying therapy in certain older adults with MS. There are active investigations, clinical trials right now, asking that exact question. Could someone with MS who's reached, say, 65 years old and hasn't had an attack in five years safely stop their disease-modifying therapy? There are scientific rationale for this consideration. As people age, they're less likely statistically to have clinical attacks. As people age, they're less likely statistically to have new spots. As people age, there's at least some investigations that suggest that the efficacy of disease-modifying therapies lessens. In other words, the impact, the effect that we might see in a 30-something with MS on a given therapy might be more than the effect with the same disease-modifying therapy in a person who's in their 60s. Now, keeping in mind that the cost doesn't go down with age, and the risk profile of the medicines doesn't go down with age, one might create a rationale for wanting to stop disease-modifying therapy. In this video, I intend to share my opinion, and my opinion is as follows. That's not a good idea. We should not stop disease-modifying therapy. We should not stop disease-modifying therapy in people with MS, even if they reach 65 and they haven't had attacks even if their disease is stable. It's my opinion that we should not do that. And I'm gonna spend a few minutes in this video sharing why I feel that way. So let's start to go through that now. First, yes, it is true that people with MS are less likely to have an attack statistically as they age, but they are less likely to rebound from that attack. It's going to impact them more as they age. Someone doesn't recover from an attack of left leg weakness in their 60s as well as they did in their 30s. If you take a disease-modifying therapy, it's less likely that it's gonna work to treat an attack, but if it does, if it prevents an attack, that's prevented something very serious. And so I don't think that it makes sense to stop a medicine. Number two, disease-modifying therapies do way more than just decrease frequency of attack and stop new spots. Disease-modifying therapies, particularly the newer high-efficacy agents, have been shown to slow brain shrinkage. And I don't think that the slowing of the brain atrophy is exclusively related to the attacks and to the new spots. And that's a benefit that every single person with MS wants. When you look at clinical trials data, the benefits of disease-modifying therapies don't just stop there. We see improvements to the quality of life of people with MS. We see improvements to symptomatic complaints with people with MS. And my point here is don't assume that the disease-modifying therapy is exclusively decreasing attacks and exclusively decreasing new spots. It's doing a lot more than that. So it's my opinion that we should not stop disease-modifying therapies in someone just because they reach a certain age. It is my opinion that we need to constantly review the risk-benefit. We need to look at the drug, look at the risks of the drug, the side effects of the drug, the tolerance of the drug, and the potential benefit. And that is something that needs to be constantly reevaluated. I think you need to evaluate it when the person is 20 years old. I think you need to evaluate it when the person is 70 years old. And if there's someone who is older and they're tolerating their medicine, they're not having problems taking it, it's paid for, they're not having a financial burden, and the safety profile is acceptable, and they have stable disease, it's my strong opinion that you leave them on their drug. Leave them alone. Maybe they're doing well in part because of their medicine. And so I would not recommend stopping them in that situation. So I would love to hear from you. This is a hot topic, and it's very likely that if you're listening to this video, it could impact you or someone that you care about. Please, in the comments below, leave your opinions and your questions and your concerns. Do you agree that if somebody is stable, hasn't had an attack or new spot, they could stop their disease-modifying therapy if they reach the age of 60 or 65? Or do you share my opinion that if it's working and they're tolerating their therapy, we don't want to stop? 
please leave your comments or questions below. Once again, thank you for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. If you're impacted by MS and you want to up your game, please subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. Until my next video, take care.